In this video, I'm going to run through how you can integrate x times e to the minus x. So we have our integral there, and we have to first realize that you have two things being multiplied together. You've got one function, which is x, and you're multiplying that by another function, e to the minus x. And when you have two functions being multiplied together, your general strategy is going to be to use integration by parts. And we have a formula for integration by parts, and that says that the integral of u times dv is equal to this expression here. And the integral of u dv matches up with this here. One of the functions is going to be called u, so we have to choose one of these to be u, and another function is going to be dv. And you have to choose carefully. And when you're choosing, you're thinking about how can you make this integral as easy as possible. And so you'll notice you've got u here, and you've got du here. And if you want to turn u into du, you're going to have to differentiate. So u is going to be chosen in such a way that we get this as easy as possible. So if we were to choose x and find the derivative of that, that's just going to simply give you 1 or dx. And so this is going to end up being very simple to do. If we were to choose u as e to the minus x, it's just going to be a nightmare, and this is never going to get any simpler. So what we're in fact going to do is take u equal x, and dv is going to be e to the minus x. And we need to think about how we get the remaining parts of this formula. So we need to find what v is, and we need to find what du is. And we can get du by finding the derivative of this, and we can get v by integrating both sides. And so I'm just going to do that. So the derivative of x is simply going to be dx. And then if we integrate both sides, we get that v is minus e to the minus x. So in other words, it's like that minus just came out in front. If you want to prove that this is the case, you can do integration by substitution and let u equal minus x and then do that procedure and you'll prove that that's in fact true. The next step, of course, is we take all of these variables here and substitute everything into our big formula here. So just go one part at a time and replace each of these by these expressions, and we get that our integral is in fact equal to this. You'll notice that we've got a minus and a minus here, so that of course instantly simplifies to put a plus. So we've simplified that down a little bit. The only thing we've got to worry about is doing the integral of e to the minus x, and that is, of course, going to be fairly straightforward because we've already done it here. This is our integral of e to the minus x. So we can simply replace that and we get this answer. And that means we're very, very close to the final answer. But you'll notice that we have e to the minus x appearing twice. So we could, if we wanted, factorize. And when we factorize, we get that expression. And so that is the simplest form of our final answer. So you can now do this integration. I hope this video was helpful to you, and thank you very much for watching.